What's up guys, we are back and this is just a solo table view now. I'm not gonna start any new tournaments. Should be able to see the price pool pretty well here. Um, we have a nice possible min cash, but still a lot can happen until these, uh, what is it, 13 players bust. So let's see. Blind structure is kind of good. 10 minute blinds starts out with 50 minute blinds, then 10 minute blinds. Um, but I think the mid stacks and low stacks are gonna be kind of tight the closer we are getting to the bubble. Pocket force is interesting here. Yeah, I think I have to fold it. I'm going to be at least be at the, on the button to call pocket force against early position. But with his stack size, I think set mining is almost not worth it. <laughs> Why? That hurts. But not really. I think it's the right decision to fold here. It's interesting because the min cash is quite relevant, but then you climb up the ladder and don't even make double the money, even though so many players busted from 39th to 10th, 11th. So it goes to show like there's some. You could draw a curve given ICM pressure. It's increasing, increasing, increasing to a pretty pretty high value before we ITM and then it's dropping because it doesn't really matter if you finish 39th or 21th. Sure it's a tiny difference but quite irrelevant. So you're supposed to play more aggro after the bubble and then again there's a kind of a stronger bubble from 10th to 9th and then we have the normal kind of ICM distribution um, with the slight difference that these bounty hunters are super top heavy. Oh, nice. They are super top heavy. Uh, please give us some action. <laughs> no. Um, because, of course, usually you get kind of the same amount, like first place, if you collect all the bounties, including your own. But this can also vary very much, depending on how you're on. Yeah, unfortunate to not get any action with aces here, but just how it is. Still nice to have aces. Um, this is also part of variance. You can get good hands, but if you don't, like, no one wants to play with you, it's also part of bad variance. But yeah. This is interesting. He raises a lot, but I wonder if I can flat this. King Jack is kind of problematic hand because it's dominated by quite a few. I think in position, well, that's a great flop unless we are already beat. Such a dry flop, and I think the only check that he gives me here, maybe checked and suited, like all the suited king check, queen check, ten check, which are very few combos, and maybe ace check off. I'm gonna check back here. Yeah, that's a great turn. Um, we only don't want to see a queen or an ace, so I think a check back is much better. It's kind of pot control, and you also disguise your hand a bit. I mean, it's such a dry board, he might even check back some overpairs here, for sure. Sets, yes. I'm gonna call. That's, a, that's the perfect river, unless he has the set, the super rare deuces or pocket threes. We should be good here. 
or the strange sevens. But I think pocket sevens is gonna might bet well, might bet super tiny. That's scary. I mean, you can kind of wrap the ace king here, but of course I'm calling him just explaining a little bit. Okay, let's go. Should be good here. Oh yeah. Actually, it was a value bet. I thought it might be a bluff because this is the hand he has to barrel. I think. Uh, but with him unblocking the flush draws on the turn, this is a mandatory value bet. I don't even think this was to lose in any way. But good for us. Nice. And I think if I would have raised, he probably would have jammed his king queen. So <laughs> worked out perfectly. Now our stack is pretty nice. We have um, anyone except him covered here. We really don't want to mess with him too much. There might be instances where I'm even flat calling ace king against his opening. Two reasons. First off, we have some pot control going on. Um, and second, of course, we have a very disguised hand. That's pretty loose with queen check here. Very lucky. Good game. Gonna open this. I think I can call his jam here. Uh, it's kind of total bottom of my range that I would open call against him. His attempt to steal 100%. Mm. I think I'm gonna go for it here. It's close. The good thing about this hand if, is if he 3 bets, uh, 4 bets, or does anything, it's an easy fold. We have him covered, so he shouldn't be too inclined to go crazy against us. Yeah, nice. And with 100% steel, like it's okay to do this. King 3, I don't even bother, even against him. He's tanking here. Yeah, he probably doesn't have any fault equity. That's the problem with this big bounty. Delayed tiny C bet. That's looks actually super weak. So I like the race here. Huh. Checking my phone. Okay, <laughs> now that's a cooler. Wow. Interesting play. He checked the flush draw on the flop, right? It's kind of okay because the flop does hit the range of the big blind defender quite well and some good players like to raise these flops if you bring in a seabed. Um, so actually I think both played it fine. Yeah, that's nice, now we have him covered too. Aces again, crazy. Can we get some action now? Huh, 
doesn't look like it. So sad. Crazy. Two times ace is under the gun and not getting anyone to play. Wow. It is interesting if he jams and someone calls. He had two final tables in his last five tournaments, that's pretty impressive. And six, which is folding. I've seen this guy before too. His name is actually quite accurate, with 1.8 million in winnings, he's the end boss on this table. Let's see what he rejams here, yeah, seems, seems very plausible. Actually quite unlucky that he really has his queen in this spot, because I think he's gonna jam most suited aces and Queen, Queen Jack, suited, all that stuff. Maybe we're gonna open another table just to have a little bit more interesting stuff to see. dry board and a big blind defend. Usually we see the tiny seabed in a fold. stealing so much, but I'm not gonna take the spot with check 9 again. Oh, looks like our good run guy is all in here. Oh, nice flip. <laughs> wow. He's running good again. Six into the muck. What's the starting stack again? Ten K, okay.
Yeah, he's running good, it seems. Mm. <laughs> what a strange turn. Mm. Nice comeback. Either getting trash or the ultra nuts under the gun. King seven against him. It's close. I think I prefer the fold. Definitely can defend it, the price is quite good. If we had him covered, I'm um, 100% defending. Just want to avoid like difficult, two difficult spots here. Like this board, sure, I have to call a seabed. Depending on the turn, he might slow down because we have more straights than him. Yeah, but I think it's. There's also quite some value in preserving your stack so close to the bubble. I probably shouldn't snap fault King 5. It's an okay spot to 3 bet. Problem is him, he could even light 4 bet quite a bit. Ah, it's very close. I like these trashy king x hands for light, th light 3 bets because you kind of preflop you definitely know what to do. Gonna open this. Nah, not now when he's from under the gun. Seems like we lost one more player. That's good. But it's very slow, of course. I think some short stacks might even tank a lot, which is probably a good thing, like a like worth to do for them. Increase was kind of huge. 
Yeah, from 15k to 20k, that's pretty big. It's like a 33% increase. The next one will only be 25%, and then 20. Yeah. So it's kind of uneven. Uh, I would open this sometimes because we didn't play many hands, but I also opened under the gun two times before when we really had a hand, so yeah, I think ace-8 is really, it's a good fold, it's, Interesting, I wonder what I do with this hand if the button goes all in. I guess it's a oh, it's a close fold or a close call. A7 is really a bad hand. Defending here. It's not a great spot, but he is also stealing stealing a lot, so if we hit the ace we probably on most boards call down three streets. In the back of last draw we could call a super tiny seabed. It's like lower than 1.5 big plants I'm gonna call. That's higher, so I'm falling. That's a massive all in. And a call, wow. Mm -hmm. I hope he hits because having this bounty possibility here would be very nice. Uh, probably not. GG. Snap calling for 30 big blends with 10s, interesting. Yeah, I guess, like, what does he shove here? Maybe pocket jacks, pocket nines, and ace king, I guess. Really pretty card that recently. Standard, but still annoying if you're just single tabling. Really don't want to see him with a big stack, but yeah, what can you do? Six off, just gonna fold this too. Problem is, when you cut that and then get a hand, it's kind of difficult to get anyone to call you unless they have you beat. So, I think if you have a good spot, it's worth to sometimes open a marginal hand 
but you can't force these things so It was kind of a big seabed for a snap fold. Ten seven suited. I think I'm gonna open this. This close. We will get quite a few raises here, and a pure call could even be as strong as ace queen. It's a great board, though. I mean, he has some king queen in his range, but we have more kings, so I definitely have to see. But it would be annoying to get raised here. You can have some flush draws plus plus gut shots. Ah, the snap fold is actually what you want to see, even though we are open ended. Nice. X4 folding. <laughs> what a massive shove. I guess that's like pairs. Hmm. I wonder what if it makes sense for him to do that. <laughs> he probably has some hand here. Like yeah, what do you do with ace check suited? Maybe ace queen off. I think ace queen you probably have to call. Do you? Yeah, it's really a difficult spot. I guess I see. MY's ace queen is still a fault for him. Maybe he does call. Interesting. Pocket force. Ooh. Yeah, I think I like pocket eights more than ace queen. Nice call. Respect. I'm just forward shoving pocket force, I don't know. I should write this down, this is really valuable info. Oh, he's holding it again. I mean, it is a cooler for him to run into pocket aids. But I really don't know if it's worth risking 30 big blinds. I mean, if he has maybe even tens plus, he's gonna call here, I think. Definitely queens plus. I think even ace queen usually calls. Yeah, there are two. I don't know. And the thing is, his range is kind of capped, meaning. Does he ever do this with aces or kings? Probably not, so it's probably strong to medium strong hands only. I 
think I can open here. No, no, I don't. But because he is not the super aggressive three bet type, he should be inclined to fold a lot. Oh, so looking at the wrong blind, um, wrong blinds before, but I think the structure is similar here. You also have, yeah, from here to here we have 33 percent and 25, 20, and even less than 20. What's that? Like 16 point something even less than so it's slowing down wow next levels are really not much difference all in and a call and a hold so we are at the dive bubble I think yay that's nice I lay dragged so I don't have bubble protection. <laughs> Something to consider actually. I normally don't consider it much. But I really should. Huh. That's interesting. Never really thought about it. But with bubble protection you really can play very lag in the bubble. Do you just get this ticket for this shootout tournament? I'm not sure. Or do you get a buy-in? If you get a buy-in, you can really play way looser. If you just get the ticket, it doesn't make much difference, I think. Hmm. Probably has a good hand here. What could he be thinking about? King-Queen, maybe? Check-10? I think an ace is just mandatory call. Straight, of course, full house. I think I want to open here. Hmm, he's a good player though. Yeah, I'm falling now. What's he flatting here? I think ace queen maybe, king queen, jacks, tens, nines, maybe sevens. Yeah, probably lower pairs mostly, some check ten. But check ten would call the turn again. But it's good, we have all of them covered except for these. So if they fold, we can start stealing. actually an open but I think he's opening 100% almost we have to call his shaft I think this is close because he will not be super wide here ever but there are some hands that we Oh, top pair. I think I want to check this back with the back to flush draw, back to straight draw, and top pair. It's kind of close. 
It's a great turn, I think. We're blocking 8 9. Unless he has a better, better hand on the flop. What do we do if he jams? I think we have to call. No, oh, good result. Check the lobby again. Holding. Hmm. Baby stack will be in the big band soon. Yeah, but this kind of bubble took like almost 40 minutes now. And it's still not over. So. Wow, and now you can see some details. Okay, he just finished first in a $5,000 tournament for 2.7 million. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. These scores are just insane. My god. Okay, what do we have? It's 10. It's gonna be an open, even though I know. He really can squeeze wide. But we have been tight, so it looks kind of strong. Easy fold. Yeah, he might be kind of wider than some other players, but I think Ace 10 is a super easy fold here. Ace Jack suited would be where well, I would have a hard time folding, but I think it would still be a fold. Nice queen, I'm just calling. And with pairs, probably nines plus calling, maybe even eights. But it's is really, really gambly. Super slow mo play. table is so active right now.
forest and more all in. Okay. And deciding to if we should call or not. <laughs> I feel like this is definitely a player that takes any spot that he can. I think you might see a call here if, for example, he busts. Yep, so bubble finally over. And he snap calls. <laughs> wow, 8 6 suited. I'm gonna write this down. Is in vector out? Not now. It's a really strong call with 8 again, I think. Okay. Do defend this. Have anything covered? Nine five. Hmm. Not my favorite hand to do it. I think I can though, very close. You should get so tiny, it's entire range. <laughs> it's a nice turn. Unless he has it. Let's hope he doesn't have the jack, but finds a hero call with ace x. Nope, he doesn't. I think I can re-jam here. Should have all the broadways. Yeah. That's the only hands we are ahead against, but it's also a bounty in play. Now it's an easy fold. Let's see. Oh, or pocket kings, of course. <laughs> nice hand. Read four into the mark. Finally, we are playing some hands again. And like I said, I'm not really at all concerned about these money bumps. We will be checking the payouts again as soon as we reach the final table bubble. But for now, we can just relax. Easy call with the distance suited. Can check. Uh, the problem is, if you just open, we're getting rejammed a lot by hands we're kind of flipping against, but it's a little too weak to open jam. Yeah, that's the thing. We're almost getting the odds. But I think a fold is better.
Let's hunt. Wow, must be nice to have $128 bounty covered. But you can still fold. him to win, so we have him covered. <laughs> Interesting turn here. Okay, GG. Hopefully we can catch some more bounties. Pocket 7 is probably another hand we're gonna fold. question is do I defend or do I regem this? And now I just fold. <laughs> hmm. Five dues. Do I limp this? I think against him I could consider raising this. Ah, let's just fold now. Oh, what a back and forth for him. Okay, I didn't expect it to be such a strong hand that you raise it there. That was a little bit spewy. He's running good. Call of course. Good shove, good call. And yeah, that's the thing with these players you only see not only but mostly see pretty um GTO approved or like pass EV plays. This mega bounty, and we have him covered. I'm not gonna open here because we want to keep our slight chip advantage against him. Sometimes I think this can be an open.
but even here, like, like which, yeah, queen three is just a fold. I think queen eight suited is the bottom I'm opening here. These are not the type of fans you want to play. <laughs> okay, we have an all in here. It's an interesting race sizing. Oh, he's having a decision here. I wonder what hand that could be. Maybe something like pocket five, sixes, sevens. King checks with it, king queen off. Queen suited, checks. Hmm. Wow, he calls too, okay. He's queen? Sevens. <laughs> wow. That's a crazy call. I'm not saying it's bad, but this is really close. But I guess pocket eights is a very kind of clear call. Hmm. Not really. Pocket nines is a clear call. Pocket eights close, sevens, mega close, M maybe it's a little spewy, not sure. King duos is really, uh, again, yeah, okay, now it's an easy fold. And we are in a break now, and make the money bump for sure, so many players all in. Yeah, I'll be back after the break. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you want and subscribe. See you guys and girls very soon. Good night for now and I'll be back after the break.